uh, that the US will reverse that decision anytime soon. In fact, it may be expanding uh, the closures. It may be. We'll get to that in just a moment. This is a significant threat to the diplomatic relationship between U.S. and China, and China is vowing to retaliate. The first signs of trouble came when police and firefighters descended on the Chinese consulate in Houston over reports that papers were being burned in open barrels. The ordered closure of the Chinese consulate in Houston was later confirmed by China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs. A spokesman condemned the move, called it illegal under international law, urged the United States to reverse the decision, um, and also warned to retaliate, warning that China could at minimum close one of America's consulates in China. Take a listen to what the MOFA spokesman said. The U.S. side is deliberately sabotaging China-U.S. relations, which is unreasonable. China strongly condemns the decision and urges the U.S. side to immediately recall the wrong decision. Otherwise, China will take legitimate and necessary countermeasures. Uh, the U.S. State Department said it ordered the closure in order to protect American intellectual property and private Americans' private information. This also comes days after that indictment was unsealed, charging two Chinese hackers of a sweeping cyber espionage and crime campaign with the support of Beijing aimed at COVID-19 research. It is unclear whether these two events are linked, and we are also closely following events at the Chinese consulate in San Francisco, where we have learned that the FBI um, says that a biology researcher from China lied about about her connections to the PLA in order to get a visa. She is currently being harbored at the Chinese consulate in San Francisco. Tensions are clearly ratcheting up, and we are waiting to see exactly how China will strike back. John. That is the question. What will they do in response to all of this? Christy, thank you. Christy Lustar, live for us in Hong Kong.